This is your boy DJ Wolf here. Uh, breaking news. Uh, Steve Harvey just uh, gave or reacted to the statements uh, about the rumors about, uh, sir, not the rumors, about the facts around him leaving his television talk show. Uh, Steve Harvey basically said, yeah, the letter was true that he put out. For anybody, that means you. If you read his letter, that means you. Yeah, he he owns he owned everything he said regarding the, uh, the statement about him uh, surrounding him moving his show. He's now he's actually not leaving his talk show, his television talk show. His talk television talk show is moving to L.A. Okay, that I wasn't completely aware of because I thought he was already out there. But his television talk show is moving to L.A. And I'm not sure about his radio show, but again, a lot of reports are saying that he is leaving the radio show because I believe his radio shows his radio shows in Chicago too, if I'm not mistaken. But for certain, his television talk show is moving to L.A. All right, that's confirmed. So the people who are in Chicago who work with him on the Chicago uh, set, the majority of them won't be going. That's fact. He's, he, he just confirmed it. Um, now he hadn't said much about his radio, but he did hint on uh, to his radio audience just a second ago that hey, you know, at some point you gotta move on. He did say that, you know. So I'm not sure if he's referring uh, 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 to the radio audience as well, but. He is moving to LA. That's 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 he just confirmed it. So that's that's a fact. That's not you know blah blah blah. Because I'm pretty sure both his shows is in Chicago. Okay, so if he's moving the talk show, which is in Chicago, how the hell he gonna just get there like that if it wasn't there? He got to move the radio show and he got to move the talk show. So yeah, he just confirmed it. He is moving out of Chicago. There's no doubt about that. You see, he wants to consolidate. All of his shows in one, you know, uh, centralized location for his lifestyle, and I can understand that. You know, um, I was like, I got family here. I mean, well, you know, I mean, my my wife and, and, and my, my son, who is an adult now, um, my son lives in one location, and my wife and I live in another. You know, and although my parents and my brother still live in. In Ohio, they still live, all all them. They still live in Cleveland. Just to live someplace else. So, but the thing of it is, <clears throat> I can't be three places at one time, of course. Um, and uh, my central location is in the DMV. You know, it has been for the last 28, 29 years. You know, and uh, my place of business and work is in the area. So that that's 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 how it works. You know. But in any case, I can understand where he's coming from on that. You know, he was he addressed the issue about people uh, walking to his dressing room unannounced and all of that, just walking in and all that. I'm thinking, well, why would you allow people to just constantly just walk in like that? He said he had three entrances to his dressing room. I, I do. Wouldn't you know as big of a, as an entertainer that you are, why would you allow those accesses to be that easy for everybody to get into? You wouldn't have that problem otherwise. <clears throat> you know? But that's another whole story. But my thing is this, uh, Steve, whatever you do, move on. Do the best you're going to do. I will say this, bruh, uh, don't be cooning, man, for real. That's not a good look on you, man, especially you from my hometown. Then. All right, guys, it's DJ Wolf. That's all I got. Podcast show is on the night.